flat chalk. Um, all the rough seas break up all the snag on corals. You get to see a lot of broken pieces of coral on the bottom of the sea floor. These are mostly made up of our snag on corals. Now when we do get to see a piece of coral, folks, we happen to see a whole colony, a whole colony of coral polyp. So that coral polyp is an animal living inside that skeleton. That coral polyp is a very close relation to a jellyfish. It does look like an upside down jellyfish when it's feeding as well, as it will stick its tentacle outside that coral skeleton to collect all that good stuff flowing in the water. We get to see some of our finger coral now. So they look very similar to your spaghetti coral. Uh, they're soft, but these guys are much thicker in size. So we got more finger coral coming up here on the right hand side as well, along with those uh, table corals. So you see them on, these ones here next to the plate coral. They're quite soft and squishy. Those are your finger corals. The one next to the plate coral. Now when you do get to see a, yeah, see a coral, one piece of coral can have up to a hundred, if not a thousand of these tiny little coral polyps. Now the colors in the coral, now, they get their colors of an algae cell um, living inside its skeleton. Now that algae cell is called zooxanthellae. These zooxanthellae works just like the plants up on the mainland as they photosynthesize with the sun to produce their own oxygen and sugars. Oh, there's a shark there. Can you see the shark? Yeah, shark. There's two. Wow, two. Two sharks.